Good evening, this is Luke Thomas, home coach here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. It is 8.15 in the evening on Friday, January 14th, 2022. 8.15 in the evening on Friday, January 14th, 2022. And we have an update here for California, Greece, Alaska, and Japan. And we'll start with uh, the California forecast. <clears throat> All right, we have a uh, spike in risk here coming up on the 16th and the 17th. And this has not yet peaked. Once it reaches a peak like this, we can, uh, like this here, we can forecast uh, the timing better. But for now, uh, this risk level is at about a 3.5. However, some of the other data is pointing toward maybe a, a 5.0. It's pretty it's a high risk level. But we're gonna wait and see when this peaks to have a better understanding how, how big a quake this is gonna be. But for now, we have a hot spot right here, right here near Oakland and in San Francisco Bay. Uh, there's risk down in Salinas as well, and west of Los Angeles. But the highest risk right now is in the San Francisco Bay uh, during the next few days. <clears throat> and look at this other forecast map here. You can see this forecast map has it right in the San Francisco Bay and extending down into Southern California as well. <clears throat> this one I like a little better because it helps you find out uh, the highest risk level in California. And that's where it is, right there in San Francisco Bay. And we have a peak coming up here. So the warning for right now, and we'll have a better idea tomorrow. The warning right now is for a 5.0 earthquake is likely. And you can see this graph uh, says only about a 3.5. However, uh, other data points to something a little stronger. So we'll just say a 5.0 earthquake is likely in the San Francisco Bay between today, the 14th and the 18th but most likely between the 16th and 17th, when this energy begins to uh, peak right there, uh, we'll have a much better idea tomorrow, but that's what's, uh, we're worried about Southern California, but right now the, uh, that might change in the future, but right now the risk is right there in San Francisco Bay for the next uh, couple of days. So looking for a, a 5.0 or larger earthquake in the San Francisco Bay, most likely, on the 16th, which is Sunday or Monday. Sunday or Monday, looking for a significant, earth, a significant earthquake in the San Francisco Bay. And again, we'll have more uh, clearer understanding of that uh, tomorrow. And look at uh, Greece. You can see yesterday we said uh, on the 14th into the 15th, the risk is up here in uh, Northern Albania. And you can see, there's the quake. 4.3 hit in Northern Albania is exactly as forecasted. And now the risk on the 15th and 16th goes down in east of Crete and Southwest Turkey and Rhodes Island there. But the risk right now was in the Northwest Greece in more specifically the Northern part of Albania. And that's where this quake hit 4.3. The risk graph, uh, peaked here and they had that 6.6 .6 in Western Crete. I believe that's where it was. No, it was in Cyprus down here in the other, Crete is over here, Cyprus over here was in Western Cyprus on this spike in risk right here. Also, there was a strong earthquake in uh, Northwest uh, Greece as well. In Japan, you can see the risk is all up here in Northeast and uh, uh, Morioko, Aomori, Sapporo in Northern Japan. And it's, there it is. We got the risk uh, up in the North and here's, we have a 4.6, right about here in the 95% risk area. And we got a 4.1 right up there in the 95% risk area as well. So this uh, is working out real well. You can see though, the, uh, the risk graph is peaking there on the 16th. Right now, I believe it's the 15th over there. 
So the risk is still going up in that area. And I believe we'll get some more quakes up in this area during the next 24 hours. That's where they're hitting right now. In Alaska, we have this uh, risk over here in uh, Southeast Alaska. And I believe, let me zoom into that area real quick. <clears throat> Alaska, there we go. There was a 4.6 earthquake that hit, uh, let's look at that again there. Right about here in the in the 92% risk area in southeastern Greece. So that was where the risk is there in southeastern Greece. And we got that uh, 4.6 right there in southeastern Alaska. Southeastern Alaska. And that's where the risk area was. All right. And that area continues just uh, near... Uh, Anchorage right now is the risk is uh, pretty much centered right there. However, the overall risk is not all that high right now in Alaska. And across the world right now, you can see uh, there's that uh, quake that hit in northern Albania. Here's the two quakes that hit in uh, our warning area in northern Japan. And over, this is a current map here, the last 24 hours. And right now we got this quake right there in the uh, northern San Francisco Bay. And that's where our risk is beginning to increase. So uh, today is uh, Friday. Watch the uh, quake start to increase in the San Francisco Bay. And especially on Sunday and Monday, where we're expecting a 5.0 earthquake or larger in the San Francisco Bay. And again, we'll have a better idea of that tomorrow. Please check back tomorrow. Thanks again to 187,000 followers on uh, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Thank you very much. And uh, we've been researching for 17 years. And every day we're making uh, improvements. Sometimes it's a quantum leap. And we make uh, much more improvements during a month or two. <clears throat> so we've come a long ways in the last 17 years. Those risk graphs are very accurate based on thousands of data, data points. So they're working out really well and telling us uh, when it's going to hit. And then we have the forecast maps to show the most likely a spot uh, where the quakes are going to occur when uh, that risk peaks in that uh, state or country. All right, thanks again. God bless you, everybody, and stay safe in San Francisco Bay. Expect a large quake, a uh, significant quake down there in San Francisco Bay during the next 72 hours, most likely on the 16th or 17th. Thank you, and stay tuned. We'll be back tomorrow.